Hi everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I am going to make a card for you guys today in one second, but I have a really fun uh, promotion from Stampin' Up! that I want to share with you guys and I have a personal goal that I'm trying to meet and I would love your guys' help with that. So these two stamps that I'm going to be using today to make a card are from the Paper Pumpkin subscription. If you guys have been following me very long, you can remember when these first came out. And what happens is when you subscribe to a paper pumpkin kit, it is this little box that comes to your house every month and it always has a really fun project in it. So the very first kit that you get is a card kit and it comes with these two stamps. And these two stamps are so much fun. I use this one all the time. It's one that I just, I reach for a lot. And um, it's a card kit. You can click right up on top of this video and go right on over to my website. And you are going to find a link to sign up to subscribe to that kit. So you'll get the, that card kit and you'll get these two stamp sets, which are totally worth getting. And um, then you'll be able to make cards. So I'm going to use these two to make a, a card today. But the other really fun items that you're going to get is Stampin' Up! right now is offering a, a promotion that for everybody that signs up, brand new people that sign up for the Paper Pumpkin Kit, they're going to get, obviously the first kit is these stamps that I've just showed you, but then also you're going to get a set of five markers. These markers are the um, in colors. For right now, they're the Summer Star Fruit, Midnight Muse, Gumball Green, um, the Raspberry Ripple, and then the Primrose Petals. And you get that right from Stampin' Up! That's a $14.95 value, and that will come with your first kit. So I thought, because I would like seven new people to join me, that is my goal, is to get seven new people to try the kit out. I am also going to send you a 6x6 pack of paper and this paper is going to match those markers that you are going to get. So that will be a lot of fun to have this paper that will go ahead and match those colors. So it's all the same colors and you'll get lots of it. Um, I'm just going to put a packet together for you and then you're also going to get a set of buttons. Buttons are always fun to put on cards and then you're going to get a clear case that will be, it will have a piece of decorative designer series paper in it. Um, it won't have this paper because I don't have this paper anymore but it will have some designer paper in it and this is fun. This is where I keep all of my paper pumpkin uh, stamps. So you get a stamp each month and there, see this I haven't put together from last month, but one month it was a background stamp, um, one month it said, it was this, it said the good life, I just used this recently, uh, hello to you was another one, this arrow that says, um, love this, seriously. So these are all my paper pumpkin stamps and I just love to keep them in this case. So you'll get a case from me, you'll get six by six paper, and you'll get buttons from me. And then from Stampin' Up! you will get a set of markers and you will get the stamp set with the kit, the card kit, and you can make that. So I would love to see seven people join me and you can just join and get the free product and then you can cancel your subscription anytime. There's no, there's zero risk to you guys. Um, it's worth just signing up and getting that product and then if you don't want to continue to get it, you can cancel or you can put it on hold for a month. So please, if you have any questions, you can email me at katinamartinez at live.com and I would love some help meeting that seven new subscription goal that I set. So I'll do this card for you guys really quick and show you the stamp set in action. This is some of our spring paper. I just took Whisper White cardstock and folded it in half. And then from our spring stack, it is this stack right here. It has all these great designs in it. I went ahead and grabbed a piece and trimmed it down and then I made it go the entire length of the card. I thought that would be something a little different than what I normally do. And then I picked out another design and I'm just going to attach that down. I'm all out of snail adhesive so I'm just using my ATG gun. 
I'm a little crooked on camera, but that's just my mat. So I'm just layering that down. This is a whisper white piece and it's just cut out from our deco framelits. This piece is going to go right here and I'm going to do some stamping. Let's just move that off there. And then I'm just going to do some stamping with both of these stamps. Actually, I think I'm only going to use Hey There. So I don't think I'm going to use this just because it doesn't. I don't think it fits in with the look that I'm doing. But I have used that one quite a bit. I use it. It reminds me of the Gorgeous Grunge stamp set that has the splatters. And I use that quite a bit. So I'm just lining this up so that I can stamp right on here. And I'm stamping sort of up and kind of off to the side. So it's not quite in the middle. And I realized that that looked like quite a lot of space on here. Like it looks like it doesn't fit on there. But I wanted that to... Um, I just have to put a little bit of adhesive on the back there. Okay, so I have a little bit of adhesive on the back and I'm going to start this twine on the back and then I'm going to wrap this twine. So there's that piece. I'm going to bring my card back over here and we're going to put this piece right on the card like that. So let's... I feel like it needs to go on pop dots. So I can stick that right there. And then I have these three flags that I've punched out using the celebration uh, punch. It's a little pendant punch. And what I'm gonna do is just flip those over and I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of all of those. So I'm going to do it with this design, which is this design right here. And then the back of that design, which is a red, a little red. A wavy design and then again with the flowers just like that and then one more element you guys know that I am really big about I, I always add a little bit more so I'm just looking through my rhinestones I want to find the medium size rhinestones I'm gonna grab my craft knife So I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, please email me. And I would love for you to join me with Paper Pumpkin um, and take advantage of this great, these great promotions that are happening. So thanks, guys, and I will talk to you later.